开去。We are set up overlooking this nice creek bottom. At this point, we had already been calling for around 10 minutes. When we spotted this coyote, he's working the ridge line and really wasn't showing any interest to the rab distress at all. But you put a few puppets in there, and here's what you'll get. When a coyote's charging in like that, it's hard not to shoot him with a shotgun. But knowing there was another coyote out there, we probably should have chose to shoot him suppressed. But that just means you got to work him a little bit harder. After 10 minutes of throwing about everything we had at this coyote, we decided to get up, move a little closer to him, see if we can get a shot at him. Just called in this double. First one come charging in good. Got him with shotgun. Less than 20 yards. Second one hung up. Kind of had to do a little stock on him. But got above him. Lonnie took him down at 163 yards. He ran a little ways, but dead right down. Hey guys, we managed to get us a double. Um, we're just calling the nice creek bottom here. And uh, Seth spotted these coyotes up on the ridge line. Oh, I think I ranged them up there about 650. And uh, they didn't have any inter interest at all. We were initially, I was blowing on the, the jack on crack. At, well, we started, had started off with the convergent hunting solution call there, but uh, switched over to the hand calls because nothing we weren't having nothing come in and uh, I think that's what brought them but um, they were uh, kind of hung up there for a second and uh, I just blew on the ROH howler a little bit just some pups squeaks and screams and here they come that's what triggered them you know they must have thought that there was a coyote over here eating and just I think it pissed off this big old male I mean this is a, probably a old High 30 pound male, I suppose. He's a yeah. big old boy. And I think he came in to get him off his territory. He's running with this younger, this pup male, which was kind of odd, but I'm guessing they must have just maybe come across each other or something. But we shot the first one at 25 yards, I think, with the shotgun. And that would be the, the big male. And this younger male kind of hung up down in there. And uh, 
we ended up moving. I think if we would have stayed put, we would probably would have wait, had to wait quite a while, but we would have got a shot on him. But uh, the younger man, we put a little sneak on him and spotted him in the bottom, and he finally presented us a good shot. So 163 yards. 163 yards with the old TS Custom 6mm Ackley. I just put it right on him. I couldn't believe he ran. He had a big old hole in him, but no, we're doing doing good today. It's a little, it's gonna kind of get warm on us. It's about 40 degrees this morning, but uh, say it's off to a pretty good day. We'll probably make a few more sets, and I think it's supposed to turn into a hurricane around here. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. Yeah. That thing just tore him up. <laughs> well, then tear him up, you know, but it did damage. Hello? What, was oh. that him? Oh, oh that's his. We were walking back to the truck, we just got done killing that double and this coyote was just standing right on top of the hill. So, we were pretty lucky to get another shot on him. Is that speaker on right there? Yep. So, end up shooting him right there, what was that? 250. 250 yards. Dead coyote.